confidence in YouTubers. This is Dave Soriano out in Western Pennsylvania. I'm a chemistry professor with the University of Pittsburgh's Bradford campus. Because of the pandemic uh, situation, current situation, I'm videotaping this in April of 2020. Um, I will be teaching uh, remote this summer and possibly the fall, depending on the policy of the university. And uh, what I'm doing here is creating small uh, modules, videos, illustrating the use of molecular modeling platform SciGrass. I've used it for years. I've been using some other platforms in my work, but uh, this is one that we have available here in the PIT system for our students and uh, faculty, uh, annual licensing fee. I use ChemDraw a lot too, ChemOffice, Chem3D within ChemOffice. Um, what I wanna show you basically is how to get up and running and draw a structure. So we're gonna go to File uh, for SideGrass. Uh, we're going to go to a uh, new project, and we'll save it as uh, oh, a cyclohexane, because that's what I'm going to build, and I'm saving that in my file. Okay, now uh, what we're going to do, you can see the directory, cyclohexane, chem sample. Um, what I'm going to do is begin drawing. So what you do over here, um, you click with the pencil, the drawing tool, and I'm going to put in six carbons. And you'll be studying, if you're an organic one, you'll be studying uh, cyclohexane, and that will be your introduction to conformational analysis, shape analysis. And that's so important with bioactivity. Uh, the shape of a drug as well as its structure, the shape of the receptor site it bonds to. So uh, I'm going to make a bond there, bond there, bond there, bond there, bond there, and bond there. Now, what I'm also going to do to make things interesting is add uh, an oxygen, just for argument's sake, and I'm going to make it an sp3, so I'm going to put an oxygen here. That normally is defaulting to red, nitrogen is blue. I'm going to make a bond here. And then I'm going to go back to carbon, uh, sp3. Can't do much without knowing your hybridization. And uh, then I'll connect that. Oh, that did not. So I'm going to go to edit, cut, and make sure I get that connected. There we are. Now, what I'm going to do at this point is select a molecule. Now, sometimes you find nuances, and oh, you do in every platform. I'm gonna select a molecule, but we have to clean it up now, and we put it in a box. I've tried doing it without the box, and you don't get good results. Now, what you're gonna do within SideGrass is go to Action at the top, Beautify, Comprehensive. And what it will do is add hydrogens where needed by default, and give you a roughly 3D plausible structure to begin your studies. So I'll go over here to the rotate icon and I can rotate and examine to develop a feel. This is called a heterocycle because it's two rings and one of them has an oxygen, hetero, uh, uh, other. So other than carbon, so that's a heterocycle. And many, many medicines are heterocycles and rings. I think more than 50% of prescribed medicines in the United States are uh, heterocyclic rings. Okay, what do we do now? Well, I'm going to first drag this over a tiny bit. All right. Now watch what we'll do. We're going to go to experiment up at the top. We're going to run an experiment. I'll click yes because we no longer have a 2D. And then we're going to go to chem sample, optimize geometry, and we're going to do to get up and roll, uh, running a molecular mechanics. Now, to make a long story short, Molecular me mechanics is very good for angles and lengths. That's used with large proteins, uh, large uh, uh, molecules, proteins, DNA, RNA, uh, good angles, good lengths. But if you want thermodynamic data, you have to do semi-empirical or ab initio calculations. And uh, that's okay for small molecules, which are organic drugs, let's say. But uh, computation time could be incredible for larger uh, macromolecules like proteins. So. To get up and running now, we'll do a standard procedure. I'll click start, and uh, 
then this will give you something a little more reasonable to work with. So that's done. I'll exit out. And uh, you can examine that. And you can see my ch skilled eye sees a little bit of a change in that oxygen uh, environment. All right, now watch what I'm going to do. Another experiment. We're going to run another experiment. And we're going to do confirmations, shapes, list of minima. And then I'll say, okay, run. And that's going to start crunching. And uh, then you're going to get, with the list of minima, this profile. From low energy, the global minimum is the lowest energy shape. And the higher energy ones are contortions. Now remember, the bioactive shape of a drug is not necessarily the lowest energy shape. It doesn't have to be the global minimum. So the thing is... Uh, Sometimes your bioactive shape of a drug is a few kilo, kilojoules per mole, a couple of kilocal per mole above the global minimum. That's part of the difficulty in um, determining uh, how well a drug binds to a receptor site, determining the shape. And if it's a very strict contortion, uh, a weird shape, it's not going to be a very good medicine. Because look, one mole of a drug is 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd molecules. And you got an awful lot of molecules circulating in the body. And if only half of 1% can bind to a receptor site, the others are getting into trouble or they're going to be eliminated through the urine or feces or breath. So you really, ideally, you find a great medicine which is rigid, not flexible, and therefore you are seeing the bioactive shape. But in any event, watch what we do now with this ring. We're going to have a movie. It's already been generated. And I'm going to click down here. And you will begin to see this line moving. And we're going to higher and higher energy confirmations. We can view it full screen. This really is wonderful. Boy, I wish I had this when I was starting out. I'm 67 in June. And... Uh, what a great way to begin to visualize uh, in 3D. Organic, in my opinion, is the introduction of molecular science. Okay, so then I'll X back there. And you see that you are looking at the energy differences. See, 26 kilocal per mole down here, 26.4, 27, higher and higher energy. Okay, so I'll stop. I'm going to X this out. I'm not going to save the changes there. I'll X this out the computation, and there's the structure. Now, here's A confirmation. In this module, I want to keep them short. So in this video, I just want to show you how to save this. Now, I normally save any of my, well, 2D sketches, chemical structures, 2D. They can be saved as JPEG, bitmap, GIF. But if you want 3D, Normally, we like this .pdb, the protein data bank, which can be viewed online, you know, on the internet. Very important site. I, I'm right now modeling the um, so-called coronavirus S protein, the spike protein, and the amino acids at the tip where it binds to the human ACE, angiotensin converting enzyme 2. It docks to it, and that's how the... Um, coronavirus uh, genome, the RNA, the, the membranes of the two blend and the RNA gets in and captures the cell. Uh, after a year of organic and a semester of intensive biochem, you're in a position to begin to do or learn at least how you go about doing computer-aided drug design. And normally you do a lot of work by modeling before you go in that lab, which is time and money. Uh, now, Let's save this. I'm going to export it. Export as. It's going to be saved as chemical sample in a folder called, I'm going to put it in my folder at the desktop. And it insists on saving it as chem a chemical sample CSF. But no, 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 no. I want PDB down here. Okay. And I'm going to call it cyclohexane. Okay. And I'm going to save that 
to the desktop. And we'll see how we do. Okay, now I'm going to close this. And I'm going to go to File, Import File. And I got to look for that cyclohexane. Let's see if we get it. Click OK, and there it is, and you're ready to do more modeling. And, uh, of course, uh, in subsequent videos, I'll be showing you uh, how you can do much more w with these uh, in terms of conformational energies. Depends on what direction you're going in your career. But what I choose to do with my students and viewers is to break this into small, digestible videos. And it's great even for me because uh, six months might go by and I'll say, now what the heck did I do with that platform? Because I'm using a number of different platforms. And uh, I strongly suggest that you go to the Protein Data Bank online, RCSB, I think it's called, and you begin to look at the interesting uh, research projects where the researchers are uploading X-ray uh, crystallography uh, images of drugs and receptor sites. Uh, proteins okay so that's how this works and you can import any PDB file into Cygress in this program will also be able you'll be able to take a candidate drug and download a PDB of a protein receptor and see how well they bind together you know it'll do scoring of the fit okay that'd be enough for now thanks for listening